What is it? There's a lock on it. Yeah. All right, guys, today we are. It won't come down, bro? Yeah, no, I did. Oh. Uh, anyway, we are building a chicken tractor today. It's going to be kind of like the Skosovich, I think his name is. But they stand these two befores up, and then they have a gap when they put the center ones in. Then they have trouble with the wire hitting because you put hard uh, wear cloth on it. So. Anyway, this is just kind of our make of it. We're going to change things up. We're going to use uh, wood rafters instead of his steel. Ours will be a little bit heavier, I'm sure. But guess what? We have skid loaders, tractors. Everybody always saying, well, you know, you don't have to have equipment to move them. If they're light, well, equipment's not a problem for us. So anyway, we're going to build. we got enough here to build two. Uh, so anyway, I got some scrap stuff I took out of that enclosed that uh, big uh, van trailer we're going to use that for the rafters anyway we'll get going we threw this one together but like i said they stand this two before up top and bottom well it gives you more if they're digging under than an inch and a half and it also gives you some place to put your rafter and it also gives you a place a smooth place on the front for your hardware cloth if that makes sense let me show you real quick so what they do is this is stood up like this and this and then you got no way to fasten this so they do lap joint they they come in and they machine half of this out and a pocket here and then then it's flat and then i don't know if you do it this way you get a flat surface but you can't you can't fasten it well so anyway we're going to stand it up and we put the two center ones in this way for extra support of the cloth and then we leave the others in this way because we're going to use a four before on the end to fasten the walls to on all the corners so anyway we're not carpenters as i've stated in other videos but we are manufacturers and we take our steel knowledge and we transfer it into our carpentry i'm not saying that's right i'm saying that's what we do i'll bring you back that's really with us. So it's the last wall. I don't know. We haven't been working 45 minutes, have we, Brad? Yeah, 45 hours. That's about what we got in it. So we've got two of them framed already. These are obviously going to be our our doors. We've got four befores on the ends of every other wall. So that was the best way I could think to uh, support them. It's going to put us a little bit over our. Well, that will stick outside the dimensions, but anyway. All right, we'll bring it back. All right, we just threw this one up. It's not nothing is screwed. It's just freestanding. And we'll have hardware cloth on the bottom. Probably mentioned that five times. And then we'll rafter it up. All right, it's screwed together. In my head, I thought I could use these partials that I pulled out of the trailer for rafters, but they're too short. And I don't think, we don't have enough, we bought a few extras, but I don't think we have enough extras for all the rafters on both of them. We should have been cutting these up for our verticals, but we thought they'd work for rafters. I'm not good at trig, so anyway, my fault. So we'll just use the others for rafters, I guess. It is what it is. I'm gonna leave this on for now. We can cut it off at any time if we decide to. Everything's screwed together to this point. Good morning, guys. Easter Sunday morning. We were working on this yesterday. That was where the videos were from, was Saturday. I don't know if I ever mentioned that. We got the hardware cloth on the bottom. The chicken wire up. These will be covered with tarp. We put lath on there. I thought that was a good idea. I mean, it's tight, but I don't know. Brent got some more boards last night. Got some one by twos that we may either pull these or go over the top of them. I don't know. It's solid, real solid. I just, uh, 
I've had chickens attack my coyotes before, and yeah, it's not good. And when you decide to do it heavier or right, you've already lost a lot of a lot of chickens. So this is what we ended up with. I don't know where exactly I left off. We got our rafters in, put one stable brace in there. Wire mesh on the bottom, hardware cloth they call it, and then uh, chicken wire on the top. We ran out of the, well, we had another roll right there, but that was for the other one, the other chicken tractor. And my son's paid for one, and I paid for the other one. And so anyway, he went back last night and got more chicken cloth, and or more hardware cloth and more chicken wire. We just kind of threw this on. This is going to have to be adjusted. Brent threw it together, stuck it on, and... Yeah, it'll have to be adjusted. My signature piano hinge on there. So anyway, that's kind of where we're at. Probably get them finished up this morning. Get them out of the way. I gotta start planting corn probably tomorrow. While I'm waiting for Brent to get around, come out and check chickens. It's a little dark, I thought my phone would adjust. Feeders are working good. I need to put some more cups on that one. I only have four on that one, I have eight on this one. And the feed went down quite a bit faster in this one. I'm sure due to just more animals being able to feed on it. Water is working good. I don't know why that will adjust a little bit there. Well, I'm mad to bring you back when it's got a little more light. These guys are getting fat. I'll show you outside quick. I'm liking that door so far. I don't know, it seemed like it opened pretty early this morning. I think I had it set at 8.30 and when I come out at 7.30, it was already open. I'm gonna have to watch that. I'm sure it's programmed wrong in there somewhere, but you guys know how the Chinese instructions are. They not real good. I don't know if I mentioned I had some tarps coming for these. I won't be here till Monday, today, Sunday. Put a stop in the door down there. Block these in. Put the door down. Sand it on it with the flapper wheel. Got it to fit. I don't have the hardware I like. Cloth, we got one piece to put in here yet. We run out of chicken wire. We used a little bigger laugh on that one and then I got back here and these spans were pretty big so anyway I just put another got it put another one in had to block them with a T that's a lot sturdier now so anyway this one just about done I'll show you guys a little trick I've never seen it done before, but I came up with it here a minute ago. Probably some of them will say they've done that for years. Maybe they have. So, I was having trouble getting those through. You know how you want to come back through? Well, I didn't have anybody to help me. So, I just did that. Made a loop on one. I stick it through where I want to go. Then, stick this one through it. Pull it through. And I've got it through where I can fasten it. So anyway, oh this is let me zoom out. Fingers in the way as always. So this is what I ended up with. I got everything done, got the latch on. Uh I just lacked that corner. I have to open a new roll for it. 
So anyway, I cut this can cattle panel up. That'll keep things from digging. I got big steeples, three of them. Just so it'll pivot on them. So I got them all the way up. All the way around. And if a guy wants to move it. So hard to do one-handed here. That'll hold them up. This is what I've come up with to move it. Not all my idea. The cattle panels are actually my boy's idea. So, again, this is kind of hard to do when I'm one-handed. So, just stick two with her under it. Hang on, maybe I can set up a camera here. Alright, so, put your two-wheeler under it. Put it back. I've cut a board right length. I may end up putting a slot in a board or something. That'll hold your chicken house off the ground. Like I said, that's not, not all my idea. I've seen that before. But I think it'll work pretty well. And it keeps the back off the ground a little bit. And then... I'm thinking I'll probably just stick a skid loader under that and just stick a bucket under it. That's high enough I can see the chickens pull forward. So, anyway, a couple things we've got done.